Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are, the last of the EX stages, level 5. This is it. Before we unlock the secret path, this is our last trial. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Things aren't going to be easy, of course, because this is the final level before the final boss. So let's go ahead and do this. 5-1 EX. We'll see a lot more shots, though. Let's put it that way. As long as you don't jump, you should be fine. Sometimes you might want to jump, though, but just make sure you get everything lined up in a corner. Now here, you kind of want to hit a combo there and then just use one more. He will take two more hits, but you do want to get the combo with the other enemy there, too. So just be careful and kill them. Perfect. Grab that coin quickly. Just jump over them. Play some jump rope with the cannons. And just move forward. Jump all the way and then launch back. You do not want to let up or turn back at all. Just keep moving forward. That's the best thing to do. This requires a lot of timing. Grab one. Launch it down. Grab those. And launch them again. So yes, take some precise, precise timing down. Grab those four. Wait for them to all bunch up together. And kill them. Yay! Just keep moving. As long as you keep moving at a normal pace, you will not get by the Shotzos because they have this timing down to a science. Grab those four guys, then launch them back. I kind of got in the wrong spot, hit that guy. Jump, and then launch them. If you'll just launch it forward, you will just hit the wall and it won't do anything. Yeah, you have the... Jumping in and hitting is kind of annoying because if you don't jump high enough or you jump too if you jump too high, well, then you kind of lose the opportunity. Well, you can't really jump too high when you launch it out. Eh, whatever, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Either way, let's just move on to 5-2 EX. We're getting closer. This one was annoying. In the EX stages, this requires a lot more precision. Basically, just keep jumping up and forth. Grab these two and then quickly go all the way to the right and wait for them and wait for the six. Don't wait for any more or they will launch out. Grab those two, stand over here to the right and then hit all six of them that way and then jump over that giant Gordo. That's just the first step. Next thing you wanna do is grab those two spears and then launch them back to hit those two, well, those two carry these as well. But if you're getting too close, those carry these will jump out as well. So you can't inhale those two guys in front of it. You have to inhale their spears. Grab the two, launch it out on the other side. Grab the two on this side, jump over to the other side quickly, launch those out. And then quickly grab these and then launch them out to waddle these that way. And then you can just jump over and get the coins. Once again, lots of timing. This part's annoying though. You'll grab these three and then you'll have to see the timing. They'll, they'll fall, you have a split second to hit them. If you take any longer than that, you'll miss your opportunity to have to do this all over again. Just be careful where they walk. You can't really tell at first because they start in the middle. And you have to actually be careful where they fall and go towards you. It's like they're going to go forward. Those are going to move backward. Keep your eye at the top, but don't keep your eye too much at the top because you won't be able to notice them falling. And like I said, your room for hitting is very small. Your window is very, very tiny. Either way, done. We get our second platinum. Oh, that's a uh, 70,000. I don't think I've gotten one that high before. I think uh, 69,000 is like the highest I've gotten. 70,000 so far for one of the levels. All right. Maybe I've had one higher. I don't even realize it. Very well possible. There are spears. Always watch out for the spears, obviously. That's the thing. Nothing too crazy yet. Just the basic simple inhale and then launch back. Nothing too real intense. Jump over these, inhale all of them, and then carefully jump over these and launch it back that way. Then there's a giant one here that just gets left out. I, I haven't really seen anything to combo it with. I It just seems out of place. Normally there's something I could just hit something large with, but this doesn't seem to be the case. You want to inhale those two, by the way, and launch it out. That is the best way of handling these. Hitting all of these and getting combos for each one is a lot more difficult than it looks. The timing is ridiculous for those. You have a split second before you run off screen and you lose your chance. Those you want in a hill in front of the Scarfies and then launch it back that way. 
Now here, just watch the replacements. Inhale one, wait for everything to spawn and get near you, and then hit. First, like every other time you've seen so far. Here, just wait for him to sweep a little bit too close. Wait for them to run towards you as well, and then hit it. We're getting closer, just one more. Just one more and then we have the final boss. Again. 5-4-E-X. Just run past the Gordos, jump on top of the Gordos, move past them. Here, you want to time these as well. Get on that side, go over to this side. There are Scarfies everywhere, so just make sure you grab, make sure you go on the side that does not have them. Wait for them to line up perfectly, and then slam all, and then move on forward. There's a shot so there, don't need to worry about that too much. But hey, what can you do? Grab these two, and then launch back. Grab those two. And then launch it back at the right time, so you can also get the carry D2. Here you have to kind of do like a inhale 2, launch 2, inhale 2, launch 2. That's pretty much all there is to that. Grab that shot, so don't try to jump over it. If you try to jump over that shot, so you will get hit. It is timed that way. You have to inhale it and let it fall down and then jump over it. Trust me on this. Either way... Inhale those two, wait for these bouncies to get all line up, and then hit them that way, and then move forward. This section's kind of annoying. You see two shots those there in the background, and enemies coming in towards you. So far, so good. But then things get a bit more hectic. You grab these four, have to get out of the way of these bouncies, get all the way to the left, and then another shot so is there at the ground level. So you kind of have to line yourself up and avoid getting hit by any of the shots that was there. Make sure you kind of grab them and line yourself up away from them. This part is the worst. You have to jump over them, grab them, avoid the shots, so get in a corner and launch them back to get all the sh- ah, That part is annoying. Can't let me- I can't stress that enough. I- I- even when I- even when I get all the way past all those shots and everything, that last hit, sometimes you might miss a Scarfy and just hate yourself for life. But that part of the shots is, is definitely like a good final trial of annoyances. Now we have the final boss. Let's grab those. Wait for them all bunch up again. Quickly get the ones on the right. You don't want to waste too much time getting all these coins. It is useful you save as much time as possible. Make sure you get all the way back as well because those spears cannot reach you all the way back. Inhale all those. And then they're all going to be surrounding you. So jump over them. And then quickly launch them over. And then we have the giant masher with a shield. Hit him once with a block, and then we'll get all these guys bunched up together, and they'll launch it back, and it insta-kills him. You will not be able to kill them all with all the guys. You would have to have one more hit beyond that. So make sure in the cutscene where he's kind of getting himself ready, you hit him with one of the blocks you have there in the background. Save some of those blocks for DDD as well. I think DDD's regular form is far more formidable than his giant form because he's a lot, he gets a lot closer to you, he does, he's a lot quicker, and his little dive attack is always super annoying, especially in 3D. And I missed, dang it. You don't have to worry too much about that inhale attack. It can't, as long as you run at normal speed, he can't inhale you. Not really much of an inhale attack, but hey, whatever. Get them all cornered up that way, grab those giant stars, and dead. That was quick. Of course, that's by no means it. Yay, let's do our fake victory dance. We know the drill. We know the star. We know what's happening. Here comes giant DDD's revenge. Not really too much different, except now with these electric attacks here, he has bolts shoot out of his hammer, but the best thing to do is get in front of the hammer and just leave the hammers to grab to each other that way and hit the stars there. That is the best thing you could do. Here, when it does the slam, get away from it, shoot eight stars, inhale, shoot eight stars, and inhale, shoot eight stars. Still, 
very, very simple for the most part. Like I said, I think the regular form is a lot more annoying to deal with than this guy. Once again, just kind of center them up, get them to hit each other in a small little corner there. Oh, I... Dang it. If I would have hit four of them instead of just those two, I would have got it there. But either way, that's it. He is dead. With minute 12 to go, no less. And that little thing there with his jaw dropped is actually what he does when he beat him the second time in extra mode in uh, the original Kirby's Dream Land. So, uh, that's something interesting. Or was it after the... For... Whatever. Either way, we got all the Platinums for that. So now that we have all the Platinums and all the EX stages... <sighs> you know what's next. The Secret Path. Getting a platinum on that is going to be a pain. I have no idea how long it's going to take. So do not rush me on this. It could even take a few days beyond the release of this. So anyway, when I do it, I'll see you guys next time.